after working on the hugely popular anime versions of Castlevania. In Castlevania, Nocturne, creator Adi Shankar has just released Captain Lazarhawk, a Blood Dragon remix on Netflix. The plot borrows ideas from several distinct Ubisoft games, including Rayman, Far Cry, Three Blood Drivagon, and Assassin's Creed, to mention a few. It has far more room for extension into Season 2 and beyond because it isn't a straight adaptation of a single video game. There are significant Season 1 spoilers below. Will Captain Lazarhawk, a Blood Dragon remix have a Season 2? Although the program hasn't been renewed for Season 2 yet, the conclusion of Season 1 makes it seem probable that there will be another season of Captain Lazarhawk, a Blood Dragon remix. In the climactic episode, Raymon, now known as Raymon, killed Eden's board of directors in a fit of rage. He persuaded them to put Bullfrog's execution on hold, allowing him to escape, before slaughtering them all. Eden's army and the Niji Six face Captain Lazarhawk, but he prevails over them all. He subsequently makes an unsuccessful effort to murder Sarah by detonating himself. Sarah completes her plot to take over the VR facility after escaping unharmed. Naturally, Netflix will be closely monitoring the success metrics of the show, the specifics of which will be made public a week or two after the show's original premiere. But for now, we can confidently say that Captain Lazarhawk, a Blood Dragon remix will have a second season. What topic may season 2 cover? Eden Tech was once known as the Templar Order, Sarah nicknamed the Warden Revealed. In Assassin's Creed, there is a mysterious organization that works in secret to manipulate the political system. The Assassins would rise to oppose them and free the people the Templars enslaved as they spread throughout the Earth and throughout history to rule the world. Additionally, the Templars were looking for pieces of Eden, legendary artifacts of First Civilization Isu technology. This suggests that it may be relevant in a potential Season 2. To stop Sarah, Captain Lazarhawk set himself on fire. Dead second Eden's resistance commander Marcus Holloway manages to evade the blast and live. Marcus observes Lazarhawk's one actual arm being tossed across the floor and severed from the rest of his body. However, the audience is not allowed to view Lazarhawk's body to verify his demise. Lazarhawk will require a new prosthetic arm if he manages to survive the blast. However, there is one survivor. Sarah makes it through the blast and now has four legs. It is made clear that she is a robot. Marcus is once more asked whether he will assist her in her mission to transform Eden but the episode ends before he can respond. Marcus will need to decide whether he wants to support Sarah or fight against her now that he no longer has authority over the VR facility. Eden will be simple to remake because of the sheer chaos caused by the loss of their army and board. Raymond will probably hook up with the assassin Bullfrog after killing Eden's board so that he may learn more about Eden's horrors and reinstall a new government. Bullfrog could also be able to provide some light on Eden's background, especially given that the Assassins and the Templar Order are each other's sworn enemies. They aren't likely to side with Sarah, hence they will likely strive to defeat her. This is especially true if Bullfrog learns that Lazarhawk gave his life to try to thwart Sarah. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.